I'm Annika Marian. And I'm Gwen Circle. And, and this is the Blue Express Weekly Today. Review. Starting today, January 28th, Millbrook has started Millbrook vs. Cancer Week. We will encourage people to keep fighting and honoring survivors. Millbrook will be celebrating in several different ways, including basketballs, coffee house, color, and colors. But more on this later, because we like to stretch things out. In other news, who's sitting next to me? What do you mean? Annika was sick all week, so why am I? how am I supposed to know who to write the script for if I had no idea if she was going to be here or not? So, just write. You don't have to mention it. But if Annika's near, I need to make comments about how much I hate her. Don't you hate Maddie, too? No, I strongly dislike Maddie, but nothing can match my hate for Annika. Okay, let's move on. A woman's march took place on Saturday the 21st all around the world. There were larger marches in places like D.C., but also smaller marches in local places, even one here in Winchester. We had teachers and students attend both marching walks. A woman's march took place on Saturday the 21st all around the world. There were larger marches in places like D.C., but also smaller marches in local places, even one here in Winchester. We had teachers and students attend both marches, walking for what they believe in and standing up for women's rights. Can we stretch this one, too? What? We can even we can use it for happy news. But piglets! But women's rights! I'll just read the happy news really fast here. And now to Rachel with sports. Hi, I'm Rachel Hayes with sports. The varsity boys basketball team won against Jefferson 63-50. to Jordan Funk led the team with 26 points. However, then they lost to Hanley on Tuesday, January 24th. But the varsity girls basketball team defeated Hanley. Our wrestling team won the Get the Well Rung tournament and have really been improving on their matches. In the NFL, the two teams advancing to the 2017 Super Bowl are the New England Patriots and the Atlanta Falcons. This weekend, on Sunday, January 29th, the Pro Bowl will be hosted in Orlando, Orlando, Florida for the first time. This is a game between the best players in the AFC and NFC divisions. The NHL is having their All-Star Weekend as well with the best players in the National Hockey League. That's it for sports news. Back to you, Annika and Gwen. 27 new movies are coming out in February. That's almost one for every day. The most anticipated looks looks to the Lego Batman movie. Looks to be the Lego Batman movie. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wrote okay. this really fast and, and just nobody read over it apparently. I didn't. 27 new movies are coming out in February. That's almost one for every day. The most anticipated looks to be the Lego Batman movie coming out on the 10th. But my favorite on the list is the movie Moose. What is that about? No clue. The website I looked at had no information on it except it's directed by Joska Joska Clock. Who? No clue. He just wanted to say the movie. Yup. Next up, Millbrook vs. Cancer Week. Feels like we've already talked about this. Nope, I can't remember. The Blue Express staff members are hitting Cancer Week hard with several articles, pictures, and comics. Anything else? Nothing I can think of that we haven't talked about before. We didn't talk about this, remember? Well, I'm tired of this. Let's cut to Abby with politics. Hi, I'm Abby Vericchio, your source for politics with Blue Express. It has been almost one week since President Trump was sworn into office. Since his weekend office, he has issued multiple executive orders that have began to fulfill his campaign promise and undo Obama administration executive orders. His executive orders include an executive order to build the border wall. In this order, President Trump states that it is the policy of the United States to immediately construct a wall on the southern border. Another, deport, another order um, ordered deportations in sanctuary cities to be defunded. Any illegal immigrant who is um, a criminal or not in good standing with the government will be deported. And in this order, hiring of more immigration and customs agents, or ICE agents, and allowing local law enforcement to have more power to act like ICE agents was ordered. Um, in another executive order, review of manufacturing regulations was sent. Trump wants, or President Trump, excuse me, wants to cut regulations on manufacturing. Another order said that American steel must be used to make all of the pipelines, pipelines within the United States. Uh, next order is, <laughs> um, getting back to that last order, American-made materials must be used to the maximum extent possible. Um, the next order was exp speeding up environmental reviews for all priority infrastructure. Um, six and seven were speeding the approval of the Dakota Access and Keystone oil pipelines after President Obama st signed an order stopping the pipelines. 
Um, his fifth executive order was hiring freezes of the executive branch. The president has told agencies that they cannot fill any vacant positions nor open any new ones with two exceptions of military personnel and public safety positions. Um, president Trump issued an executive order that pulled us out of the Trans-Pacific Trade um, or the TPP deal. So now the, the United States will not be negotiating with anybody in that trade deal. Um, Another executive order that Trump issued was on abortion. Trump has reinstated that um, federal dollars or taxpayer dollars cannot go to organization services that provide abortion. Um, this is also like the Mexico City policy that was from the Reagan era. Trump's second to last executive order was the regulation freezes. No regulations may start without his administration's approval. And the most controversial order that Trump sent out was rollback on the Affordable Care Act. This executive order cut down a lot of government spending within the Affordable Care Act. That's all for this week. Back to you, Annika and Gwen. So, as we were saying, the Women's March had a great turnout. And 150 pip... Pip... That's really good to you, Paul. That was so cute. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. So... As we were saying, the Women's March had a great turnout. And 150 piglets were saved from a burning house. I thought we were talking about the Women's March and Happy News. I got a whole bunch of information from Maddie's article. But piglets? There was a video about the piglets. There was? It was blocked. Let's talk about the Women's March. I'm Gwen's Oracle. What? Aren't we? No, we can't. You're on board. I hate it. The hatred is mutual. I'm Monica Moran. <laughs> and this has been the Blue's West Weekly Review. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Have a nice weekend and see you next week. Oh, I got you.